Next. So my brother hasn't, um, he hasn't trained for a while, so it's been quite a while. So for him, he's probably still getting mind to muscle connection and obviously mind to muscle connection as well. So obviously the two second pulls for him at the bottom is going to be awesome for him because his mind's going to get used to it. Okay, I'm back into training and I'm training my chest today. Barbell press. I want to make sure he has a natural arc through the back as well. It's very important. His core switched on. Okay, with his legs, his legs are fine. Okay, but I wouldn't mind dropping his legs back a bit further. Yep. I want to make sure you're on your tippy toes as well, which is going to create a natural arc through the back. Okay? I want to make sure his scaps are depressed as well. So coming through here, his scaps are nice and depressed, natural arc. Okay? And as he brings that bar down, I want him to tear the bar apart. So as he's coming down, I want him to pretend he's pulling the bar apart, which is going to activate his teres minor, which is the lats in the back. And then as he comes up to a press, he's going to feel more activation through that chest. How's it going to that, Josh? So pull the bar apart, hold, one, two, drive up and make sure you squeeze it through that chest. Okay? Hold, one, two, drive. So guys, as you're doing any type of movement, even a squat, okay, you make sure you're tearing the floor apart, which is going to get a nice activation through glutes, but here we're activating through the back, which is going to get a nice, better contraction through his chest. One, two. And guys, with your breathing too, breathing is the most important thing. I see people not breathing throughout their workouts as well. Breathing is like 30% of your injury. It's massive, okay? So as you come in here, he's going to be holding his breath. One, two. As he presses up, he's going to be breathing out, okay? 